Hello traders at CMC Markets. Welcome to another RRG research update for Monday the 24th of October. I'm recording this on Friday the 21st. My name is Trevor Neal and I'm presenting to you on behalf of RRG Research from London. As we do every week, uh, let's start with a look at what's going on in the major stock markets of the world and see if we can pick out some opportunities. Well, we see a pretty remarkable picture in the weekly relative rotation graph of major global indices versus the MSCI World Index. So that's our benchmark here. And the remarkable picture is that we see every index apart from two is in the leading quadrant, so outperforming the global index. The two that are not are the NASDAQ, and our, friend, our poor friend, the Hang Seng, which we've given a lot of attention to as a weak uh, index in our updates of recent weeks. But look at this, everything is got its arrows in the leading quadrant. This indicates that, of course, the, the, particularly the ones that are heading northeasterly are uh, gaining in strengths with good momentum if they're heading uh, higher as well as right um, and also those with long tails like the Australian index, the AS51, the ASX200 um, are doing so with power. So we're going to actually focus on this one today. Uh, the Japanese index, the Nikkei, uh, remains strong as it settles again in the leading quadrant, returns into the leading quadrant. It had been in it and then it's returned in again uh, there. Over here on the left is the poor old Hang Seng in the lagging quadrant and not still looking um, very good with this uh, westerly uh, um, direction. I know it's northwesterly, but westerly direction. So still um, the JDK-RS ratio is looking like continue to deteriorate and so therefore continue to underperform. Switching now to the daily RRG of the same indices versus the MSCI world, we see basically a confirmatory uh, message here. The Hang Seng, most strikingly, is uh, heading now southwest in this uh, time frame, uh, switched back to moving uh, southwest, so any sort of bounce in that seems to be over, and uh, so in the daily time frame it's very poor indeed. Uh, also the Nasdaq is, as well poor. Everything except for the FTSE is in the leading quadrant, and the Dow, the DAX, the CAC, all looking good in there and further to the right is the Australian index. Even the, even the um, UK 100 is um, in, in the weakening quadrant but it's heading northerly so it's uh, with increasing positive momentum and it still is right over 100 points. So essentially this message confirms the weekly message. So it's as if the wave has moved back in the direction of the tide. The Australian ASX 200 um, bounced strongly from 6400 uh, last time in September and has met some short-term resistance at 6800 but it's still holding steady and potentially uh, could be challenging the 7100 uh, level quite soon. We have still got lower highs in intact in here, but it's a good base here at 6400. But what is particularly impressive is that the MACD line here, moving average convergence divergence, the MACD line is rising sharply and also the signal line is rising sharply too and the gap is widening. So this is the best looking uh, index from a relative rotation graph perspective and the chart itself is looking fair as well. A break of that 6800 two tops in there would indicate uh, and it, that we would follow with an attempt on the 7120 high level. Last week uh, Julius uh, ran a scan of the AS200 uh, index according to our criteria. You will remember that our criteria we're looking for a scan of uh, securities in that universe that are above their 10 day simple moving average, so are moving up in the shorter term, um, have turned into an, uh, an RRG reading between 0 and 90 degrees, so in the leading quadrant, 
are showing increasing velocity. So in the, the length of the uh, sample between samples is increasing, so it's speeding up. Uh, he, on the 14th, picked up three stocks, which were Eagers Automotive, uh, Webjet Limited, and Wise Tech Global uh, Limited. The one that Julius liked the least in looks like it has the greatest potential now. So because the index itself has moved up, they've all moved up, but the one that he liked the least is the one I want to look at this week. To quote Julius from last week, he said, um, out of the three results, the one that is least convincing for me is Wise Tech Global Limited. Although it ticks all the boxes for inclusion, it doesn't look like a strong chart. Now, I think that the picture has changed. It is true to say that the uptrend from uh, the July low has been broken and we had a failed attempt leaving an island of the breaking of uh, 6020 um, and uh, pushing into the spike top, which is, as I said, an island reversal top, which is, uh, can be a major uh, reversal pattern. We came down and we broke the support or tested the support at 54 breached it but have bounced strongly from it and we now have a rising lows pattern um, in place and we have these two tops in here at uh, 5840 and I think that a break of those 5840 tops could uh, give us a new um, uh, move to attack the 60 um, dollar round number and maybe potentially on to take out that island top. The rising lows pattern is uh, constructive, the support at 54 is strong, but the main reason is that the MACD here has turned up through its signal line which is also rising and the gap is widening. So this is showing a rising market with um, increasing momentum. So on this absolute chart of Wise Tech Global, the situation has at the very least stabilised, um, but actually is showing signs of rising. So this one, which was the last and the laggard of the three that uh, Julius chose, uh, now seems the others having uh, steadied, now looks ready to join the group. To conclude, this laggard in the RRG choice scenario of uh, that Julius ran last week now looks to have the best potential for those who have yet not yet jumped in on the outperformance of the ASX 200 as a leading global index. I'll leave it there for this week everybody. I thank you very much for watching. Uh, we will be with you again uh, same time next week at the same place. Goodbye from Julius and I of RRG Research and may the trend be with you.